This is a quick tutorial, a quick primer on using the new DMX recorder panel and associated tools inside Carbon for Unreal version 1.1 and later. All of our carbon fixtures are supported to be recorded and played back using the sequencer within Unreal Engine 4. Uh, we can open the sequencer here. I'll dock it down here on the bottom. Uh, if you want more information on some of the more detailed and nuanced features of Sequencer and the Take Recorder inside Unreal Engine, we'll refer you to some of the various tutorials that already exist on using those features. This will be just showing you the workflow that we have for recording and playing back using our new panel. All right, to get started, in our Carbon Toolbox, we have a new tab called Sequencer, and we can open the DMX Recorder panel. There's some instructions that you can read in the future or reference back to this video. The first tab that we're going to see in here is the recording tab, and it's going to list all of the fixtures that I have in my scene that are compatible with Take Recorder, which is all the fixtures that are in my world outliner. You can see that they're organized by folder, just as I have them here. And all I have to do is click the ones that I want and then select them, and then these will be the fixtures that I'm going to arm for record, and then I can record them using Take Recorder and then play them back. So I'll click all three, I'll click arm for record. I will set this off to the side for now. We can see that in the take recorder, which just popped up, I have all three of the fixtures. They are set to possessable, which is how we recommend that you record them. Uh, and they have the various parameters that they need already ticked and, and ready to be recorded. I'll minimize that for now. I'll go into play mode here. I can see that I'm getting uh, data to my fixtures. They're being controlled and I'll just hit record. We'll let it record for a bit. 10 seconds right there, I'll hit stop. So I can view my last take by clicking review last recording up here, the little eyeball. Uh, and I can see that I have the three tracks for the three different fixtures that I have. I'll, I'll bring it back up my sequencer panel here. The way that carbon fixtures work, they need to be armed for record. And then when we're done recording, they need to be armed for playback. So now that we've recorded them, we can arm them for playback. And it will do that for us. Now I'll minimize that out of the way. And now if I go into play mode here, play mode, they'll go into their default position. But as soon as I hit play on the sequence, you'll see that that data has been captured and is playing back. Uh, to prove that this is not the live data, I can hit pause. I can scrub through it and you can see that it moves forward and backwards based on the take that I had. If I want to make any changes or use any of the features, I can absolutely do that. Um, and you can see all of the keyframes for each of the fixtures that capture data. And that's how we new, use the new DMX recorder panel uh, in Carbon for Unreal 1.1 and later.